This is a hardware overview of our 24 channel Pro XR series relay controller with a USB interface module installed. This controller features 24 onboard relays organized in three banks. We've got bank one, which is this group of eight relays, bank two, which is this group, and bank three here on the end. Each relay has got three connections. It's got a normally open, a common, and a normally closed. That allows you to wire, say, a light or something of that nature so that it's always on or always off. And the light will change state when the relay is activated. This controller also features a number of LEDs, including LED status lights for each of the 24 relays, as well as a busy ready LED, which flashes whenever commands are received. Here we've got a 12 volt uh, screw terminal connector that allows you to wire your own power supply to this controller. This controller also has an XR expansion port like all Pro XR controllers do. Pro XR controllers allow you to add more relays to the, so that you can talk to, if 24 isn't enough for your application, you can add more. You can add larger relays, smaller relays, any kind, any controller that supports the XR standard will plug into this XR port. Um, all of the chips on this controller are socketed, so if you, the processor is ever damaged in any way, a uh, very low cost uh, replacement kit is available so that it, this is a field serviceable uh, controller. Um, also over here we have eight analog inputs. These inputs can be used to read temperature sensors, humidity sensors, pressure sensors. Anything that outputs a zero to five volt voltage can be read by the analog inputs. There are eight of them. And these analog, <clears throat> analog to digital inputs uh, have a zero to five volt voltage range. Also, these uh, analog inputs can be configured to directly control the first eight relays on this controller. Uh, the, <clears throat> the analog inputs can be pulled up or down through the up-down jumper here. There's a 10K resistor that can be used to bias these inputs high or low. The interface module is changeable, so if you prefer an Ethernet solution later on or a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth, maybe RS-232, whatever you need. We've probably got a, a, a module that we can replace your, your USB interface with if you ever need to change. We also have a 2.1 millimeter center positive barrel connector that's used to provide power to this controller. Uh, uh, as an option, you can either use the screw terminals or the barrel connector, whichever you prefer. And there's also an up down uh, or a program run jumper. The program run jumper is used to recover these settings. Normally it's in, in run mode, but if you ever do uh, get the settings a, l a little bit amiss in this controller, uh, you can always recover your settings by putting the controller into program run, uh, mode and then running base station, and that will allow you access to the features of this processor. So if you have any questions, please let us know. We would be glad to help you out. Thank you very much.